With us right now is the Republican candidate for New York Attorney General, uh, Keith Wolford. And Keith, uh, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. In. It's great to be here. So you're from Buffalo. That's right. That's right. I grew up just down the road in Buffalo. And uh, on the east side, my dad worked in the Chevy plant there. And um, my mom and my dad and my brother and me grew up and we worked really hard. My parents really focused on educating us and making sure we, we stayed in school and studied hard. And, yeah. You know, things worked out. Went to college on a scholarship at Harvard and went to law school and then went to New York to follow my dream of being a big-time lawyer. But uh, now it's time for something a little different, which is trying to help the people out. So New York has been uh, riddled with just corruption in the, in the, last, uh, in the last few years. What's your assessment of, uh, of all of it? Well, the cost of the corruption is killing us is yeah. the, the obvious assessment. You know, we, we, look, we already have the highest taxes and the most ridiculous regulations in the country. But then to pile on top of that, a uh, bunch of crooked politicians picking our pockets, it's yeah. way too yeah. much. And the cost of it is not just the money they steal, not just the dumb projects we do, but also driving business and productive folks out of the state because they just can't take it anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They just, it's just too much. Uh, what was your take on, I mean, we've seen it here with uh, with Nano, a lot of money spent here. We've seen more money come into this area, um, right? Well, we were totaling it up. It's uh, it's over a billion dollars, correct? Um, which is all positive, yet the Nano thing has not taken off. Uh, Buffalo had Buffalo billions. Um, well, look, the Buffalo billion, I, I was more overjoyed than anybody to hear that, hey, we're going to put a billion dollars into my old hometown of Buffalo. Yeah. You know, because a billion dollars upstate goes a long way yeah, if it actually yeah. gets there. And mm -hmm. the problem is that when the government politicians figure this stuff out, the crooked ones, it doesn't go where it's supposed to go. So they had one contract, three quarters of a billion dollars out of that billion. They rig it up for a contributor. So once you find out that it was rigged up and the guys are going to jail, you don't know what other projects we should have been doing. Right, right. You know, and that's the problem. I mean, if you had that three quarters of a billion back, would you do the same thing with it? If it right, wasn't going right. on Andrew Cuomo's buddies, you don't know. How does how has uh, Andrew Cuomo survived this? He survived it because you know you can raise a lot of money in our system even if the people don't really support what you're doing. Yeah. You know yeah. he raised what forty million dollars. I, I suspect that those folks put money into his campaign coffers don't think that the taxpayers are getting the benefit out. They're putting the money in to get things out themselves. It's not a good government award. Let's be yeah. honest yeah. about it. Uh, Joe, we went through quite a thing here where uh, the attorney general came after the Utica School District, and we're still not sure exactly why. It seemed very unfair. Um, it was a disaster. Well, absolutely, and that's why I think it's so important that we pick the right people, and this year you have a great choice here. The candidate on uh, running uh, is the governor's candidate, uh, Tish James. She's from the public advocate from New York City. Again, everybody focused on uh, downstate interests uh, first and foremost. And then there's the philosophic divide. They want to go after suing the federal government uh, over policy. They want to go after school districts. And, and, I want, and Keith will talk about his perspective and vision about the role of the attorney general. First of all, it should be a very a check on the executive branch. It should not be a part of the executive right, branch right. where the governor gets to choose. And basically, indirectly, he's done that. He he basically uh, was able to ordain uh, Tish James and to embrace her. And uh, and that that's too cozy a relationship. Yeah, yeah. And there's, uh, there's nothing indirect about it. Andrew Cuomo picked Tish James. Andrew Cuomo says she's his teammate. Andrew Cuomo paid for her TV ads when she was on the ropes. I mean, there's nothing indirect about it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and then also the role of the Attorney General, Keith. I mean, for instance, you talked about there are other things instead of going after school districts or suing uh, other levels of government. There may be times when that's necessary. But there's a more important role that the office plays. So the, the first thing the attorney general has to do is to protect the people's money and protect the people's rights. So, you know, you've got a bunch of people in state government. We've had three attorney generals in a row who've seen this corruption. They yeah, say they're going to yeah. come back and deal with it every year. They, they don't. They never do. You know, so you have to deal with that. We have to deal with this opioid crisis. We have to deal with these folks with hundreds of thousands of regulations chasing business out of the state. You know, you have to deal with the, the attorney general bringing up these sort of flimsy lawsuits and trying to twist the arms and threaten with jail these executives so that companies pay. What happens when the companies get threatened and get extorted out of millions of dollars? Yeah. They don't put any more money into the state, and they take yeah. their jobs away, yeah. and we all get hurt. Uh, I want to ask you one federal question. Uh, what's your take on Kavanaugh? And um, look, Judge the Kavanaugh. process was horrible. 
But your take on Judge Kavanaugh, right. Justice Kavanaugh? My, my take is real straightforward, which is, you know, you, you got to listen to these charges of sexual abuse and sexual harassment. I, I have a 14-year-old daughter, and I think about the world she's growing up in, and we're getting better about this, but we're still not where we need to yeah, be. Yeah. So it was good that, you know, everybody was heard, you know, Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh. But at the end of the day, it's about, you know, the, the benefit of the doubt and about a presumption of innocence. And, you know, there wasn't sufficient corroboration of the charges for the Senate to do anything other than vote for him. Now the justice, uh, the uh, Supreme Court is actually looking at the behavior of, of Justice Kavanaugh during the, uh, during the hearings. Anything going to come out of that? Are they, are they doing that just for the integrity of the court? No, this is the political season, okay. right? I yeah. mean, obviously the folks on the other side are, are using it to energize their base. Yeah. So, you know, I, they're, they're just going to keep at it. And, you know, after the election's over, hopefully, you know, cooler heads will return. We'll get back to the people's business. Boy, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, the All problem right. is that the, camp, the next campaign will begin, and that's another thing that we really it's need to start focus right on. after Christmas. Perpetual campaigning yeah. Is, yeah. is is out. Outrageous, to be quite yeah. honest with you. And we talk about it and rail against it, but then we embrace it to a certain right, extent. And right. that's something we really should pay more attention to, including from the media's perspective. Sure. Uh, come on, I don't want to. You swear in a president, and then uh, ten days later, you already started the next cycle of campaigning. That's outrageous. Well, I'm assuming that we'll begin the presidential race uh, in January. Yeah, probably. Uh, two years in advance. Uh, pretty crazy. All right, uh, Keith Wolford, uh, best of luck. You just have a couple of weeks to go. Uh, candidate for New York's uh, Attorney General, the Republican, and thanks for stopping in here this morning. Thanks so much for having me up. All right. Uh, we'll break and come back.